Hi guys, another uh, body, body, uh, bodybuilding.com unboxing. Uh, I just opened up the box, uh, got rid of the uh, paper foaming or the air foam, and uh, just wanted to let you know what I got in my new stack here. So, uh, got a bit more protein. Uh, that was one of the main reasons I got another order from bodybuilding.com because I'm running low on uh, protein here. So, I uh, got another Synthesis 6. Uh, BSN protein. This one is with uh, the flavor chocolate peanut butter. I had a caramel latte last time. Very delicious. I will probably get that again later on, but I'm going with uh, Synthesis 6 this time again, but with chocolate peanut butter. It got a very high rating. Uh, this one here, it's got the same amount of fat. I think the carbs are a bit higher, but uh, so far I've liked this one. Um, some people I know when they did the reviews from uh, online, some of them don't like the fact that there's high amount of carbohydrates and the sugar is a bit higher than what you would type, typically find uh, with other protein shakes. But uh, I like this, so I'm going to give this one a shot. Then I also got more uh, gold standard whey protein. Now, I've got, uh, as you probably saw from the last video, uh, banana cream and also chocolate mint. I have another bottle I haven't opened yet, but this one is, uh, this is extreme milk chocolate. This one, obviously, this gold standard does not taste as good as uh, Synthesis 6, but I think from a purity standpoint, it's, uh, it's clean. It's more clean. Uh, you can see that you're getting a bit more protein, 24 grams per scoop versus 22. Uh, if you look at the label here, there's only one and a half grams of fat versus some of the Synthesis 6, which can have five to six grams of fat. And carbohydrates is a lot less. It's only four grams versus Synthesis 6, which can have anywhere between 15 and 22. So I think uh, this, is, this is the type of protein I take right after my workout. This is the best isolate protein, I think, out there. Um, but for, for uh, during the morning when I wake up, I usually have this, or right now I am uh, I'm taking Muscle Farm uh, protein, which is uh, which is this one here, and it's uh, a bit more slow releasing, so Muscle Combat. So I either take that one or uh, Synthesis Six during the uh, during the morning there, and then right after workout I'll take uh, Gold Standard. Uh, what else? This is right now on sale, two for one. It's um, the original Smart Shake, Jay Cutler. Uh, I've got two of these ones here. And uh, what I like about this is I've got the, uh, keep going back to the kitchen, but uh, I've, got, I've got these ones here right now, which I'm using, this one and this one here. But what I don't like about them is the fact that if after a workout at the gym, I have to take some creatine or I've got a few pills to take, um, I can't. I can't bring those along. Uh, I usually have to come home before I take it. But this one, this is a, I haven't read all the instructions, but there's three compartments. There is, a, I believe, a pill compartment somewhere in the middle. Uh, don't quote me on that. And at the bottom, you put your protein powder. Uh, and it says here, three-in-one multi-storage shaker. So this one is much more effective. What I also like about it is that it's got a little pin here. So I can clip this onto my, my gym bag when I go out. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is another one I'm going to add to my gym bag, which is MHP. This is just a um, uh, uh, dispenser for uh, putting protein powder because usually if I'm putting protein powder into a bottle, the, the head of the bottle is not big and usually it goes all over the place. So this is kind of, it's, it's pretty cool. It's got a cap on the funnel so you can just, you know, you don't get it dirty and just take the, ca the, the cap off, put your protein uh, powder in and if the bottle has got a small head it'll go through here nicely and then just put the uh, the cap back on when you're done so this is pretty cheap I got this uh, what else got a bit more NO explode uh, this is there's a lot of pre-work on this one I got animal rage first time I've used it again I don't think I've come close to DS craze anything that's come close to DS craze I tried the curse um, in my last last video and I didn't find the curse to be as uh, as great as some people say it is, but I'm just going to finish the bottle anyway. So I'm trying Animal Rage. 
uh, I got Juggernaut. And if you notice, every one of these pre-workouts I'm getting, <clears throat> they're very small amounts. What I found, uh, just this is just my personal advice, but if you're trying a pre-workout, it's best not to get a big bottle. Don't get 30, 40 servings. Just go for the 10 serving or 2 serving. And if it works for you, then you can go with the bigger bottle. But uh, the, the weirdest thing, and I think it's true, is that every single pre-workout, what works for you is not going to work for somebody else. So you got to find out what works for me or what works for you. DS Craze works for me. Um, I find that NO Explodes decent. Uh, C4, not really. Uh, Muscle Farm's not bad as well. I'm trying this pre uh, ripped freight pre-workout as well. So there's a small sample. I've got uh, Green Mag. And then another ripped freak. So I'm just going to try out all these pre-workouts. And if it works, then I'll get the bottle like this one. And so I've got... This is a... This one I heard quite a lot about Purple Raft uh, from Control Lab, so I'm going to give that one a shot. Uh, this is a, uh, oh, this is the free gift. This is um, a fat, fat uh, caliper, so I'm not going to open it up, but it comes with uh, the purchase. This is a bit more white flood as well. I uh, got some workout gloves. I lost my gloves at the gym, so I just got another pair. And uh, here's Rip Free uh, Hybrid Fat Burner, and uh, also Concrete. And this one here, some of you guys might not like this, but I also got a test booster, uh, pre-testosterone test booster from Test Freak. I heard good things about this one. Right now, I'm currently taking another test booster, which is um, which is uh, the Beast Super Test. You know, the, the weirdest thing is about this test booster, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, <laughs> you can see some veins there. This this thing, for whatever reason, causes your veins to really pop out, especially when you're working out. That's the one noticeable thing. Uh, I don't notice too much about a pump or, or uh, some people say acne. I got a bit of acne, but that might be usual. Um, I don't see substantial hair growth, but the one thing is I notice my veins are just popping up everywhere especially on uh, right under my under under my elbow i was doing bicep curls the other day and i was just looking at and i said i didn't realize they had that many veins but that's the one thing i noticed about that so i'm also going to get that test booster a shot and uh yeah so that's basically it so that's that's the uh bodybuilding.com uh haul for this this month anyways and if there's anything you guys like to let me know or if there's any comments or Tell me what what I should or should not be doing. Feel free to leave a comment. And um, yeah, if anyone's tried this one out, test freak. It's expensive, but if anyone's tried this out or have any uh, test boosters that they can recommend, certainly uh, post a comment below. Have a great day, guys.